Our first guest tonight is an Emmy-nominated actor and comedian who you know from his work on Saturday Night Live, The Last Man on Earth, and the timeless film classic, MacGruber. He stars in the animated series, The Great North, which premieres Sunday night on Fox. Please welcome back to the show our very good friend, Will Forte. How are you, Will? I'm doing great. How are you, Seth? I'm doing uh, wonderful as well. Even better seeing you. And uh, you just had a birthday, my friend. You just turned 50. And your fiance, yeah. your lovely fiance, uh, planned a scavenger hunt for you, which is such a nice thing to do in a time where people obviously cannot have the parties they would like to do. Yes, it was, it was uh, uh, a total surprise. And, you know, it's been, it was during COVID. This is June. So uh, COVID had made everyone kind of live in isolation. So it was, we went around to these different stops uh, and socially distanced, so it was all very safe. But uh, she, what she did was she had different uh, face masks made with different versions of my face. So, like, this was one of them. Uh, <laughs> fully, fully bearded. Uh-huh. And then there was just mustache. Right. That's another one. That's really good. And, but then the, the real hit was the half and half <laughs> on, on Earth. <laughs> she's very, she's very lucky to be marrying a man who once did that to his face. No, she thanks her lucky stars every day. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, you both have a lot to thank uh, as well because you're about to be a dad very quickly and within a month or so, right? We are, uh, yes, yeah. We we got engaged a year ago, Christmas, and we thought we'd get married first, but then uh, COVID delayed our plans, so we thought. Okay, well, just then on Father's Day, I actually found out that we were pregnant. It was very, very excited that she was pregnant. I guess I could say, I know, biology. Uh, so, so uh, you know, we've been preparing um, since that day. And then a couple, you know, we, we thought, okay, we're, we're doing pretty good. I think we're, you never feel probably like you're totally ready for it. I, this is my first kid, so I don't know. But, but we thought, okay, we're doing pretty good here. Um, and then a couple days ago, she got this call from the hospital that said, oh, you know how uh, several times you've been told that your insurance is, is going to work here? Oh, it oh we, we're uh, now telling you that it's not. Now, it's, now we're going the other way on that. And uh, <laughs> so uh, it, it's not the thing you want to hear three weeks before giving birth. So we, got a, we figured out our plan, which is we're going to Vegas and we are getting the a quick, um, <laughs> we're getting quickly married. <laughs> I love it. This is like sort of an insurance inspired wedding in Vegas. It's the storybook marriage that I always wanted. Um, so I, I looked up this place um, and I, what it, it says there are no vows. Um, there's a minister you got to give 60 bucks to. <laughs> cash. It's going to be cash. And you go through and what it seems like to me is that you just kind of drive up to what what looks like a fast food restaurant uh, drive through, and some guy just looks into your car and looks you <laughs> over a little bit, and just all right, you're married, and that, then that's it. That's, wow, he look he yeah. has to see true love, and then if he sees it, you're exactly. married. Exactly. Exactly. You guys, yeah, so we're, um, we're, you took a step which I think is an important step before having a baby, which is you guys have a dog. Um, which you gave a beautiful name to that, unfortunately, now that you've given it to your dog, you won't be able to give it to your daughter. What's your dog's name? <laughs> our dog is named Mudbutt. <laughs> um, now, we're, our, you know, we don't need it because our daughter, we're, we're probably going to name Kia, Kia Forte. Um, <laughs> it's still in the mix, but we're probably not going to name Kia. Uh, but yeah, Mudbutt is uh, a little, our, our COVID puppy who has grown into a, the devil, basically. <laughs> Is like he's he is just a little Damien Omen dog. He he eats all his toys whole. Like I'll pick up his poops and they are full, just totally unchewed on toys, just pristine <laughs> toys. I can almost put them back in the box and return them at a store. Um, and, and, this is oh, a very word... harrowing photo. I'm going to show of something you found your dog chewing on. Now... Oh yeah, I went. So I was I was sitting by the couch. And something smelled very badly. And I was like, did somebody barf under one of these cushions and leave it there for a month and then pour water on it and leave that for a month? 
And, and then I realized, I looked over a couple feet away and I said, oh no, that's the freaking full deer leg that <laughs> mud butt dragged in from God knows where. This is a full deer leg. <laughs> yeah. That's a hoof or a hoof, depending on if you're <laughs> like an Australian or something. But that's a haunting thing. Haunting. It was scary. It was scary. And then I looked around. I was thinking, okay, well, that's got to be connected to, <laughs> you know, more parts of the deer. And I couldn't find the other deer there. But yeah, it's scary because you're like, is my dog doing satanic rituals? Yeah. So, um, oh, uh, Will, I'm so excited. One, that you're going to get married. I'm so excited, too, that you're going to have a baby. And Thank I you. feel terrible saying this. I may be most excited that I believe uh, potentially in June you're going to start filming the MacGruber TV show. That is correct. It's, it is, June is when the start date is supposed to be, so. I'm and then you'll be going back to Albuquerque where you shot uh, the film. Yeah. And, um, I, you know, I think there are a group of fans out there who are more excited about this than, than anything. Um, could you give us a taste? Is there any dialogue you could read us from one of the scripts? I, I went through today with John and Yorma because we wanted to be a little classier with with this next iteration of MacGruber, so. Yes, yeah, so um, now it's gonna be pres prestige you. television. Yeah, so basically what, uh, all you need to know for this is that uh, my, uh, Kristen Wiig's character, Vicky, we used to be married. Um, and since then, we are not married anymore. And she is now with this uh, guy named Colonel Fasus, who's my, my commanding officer. <laughs> and we've been at each other's throats the whole, the whole series, and this is, uh, how I make up to him. This is my speech in which I make, uh, I'm, I make good with him. I apologize. This is me now as MacGruber with my MacGruber reading glasses on. Look, I owe you a huge apology. I am so sorry. No, 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 I need to say this. I've called you so many nasty things behind your back. Called you a dirty diaper with arms, legs, and half a brain. I called you a <laughs> face. I said you were a mother Nose, face, eater, mouth, tool, ass, butt wipe, a little bitch, piece, piece of. I put him together and called you a piece of. I called you all that stuff, but I was wrong, because you're not a piece of. You're a piece of friend, and I mean that. But that's the softer group. Oh, I'm going for. I can't wait, buddy. I can't wait uh, for everything that's coming up for you. It is always a pure delight to see you. Thanks so much for being here. I love you and miss you. I love you too. The Great North premieres Sunday, February 14th on Fox.